Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Beatstar here. I'm going to show you a little bit of the demo of Tomb Raider, the Dagger of Xi'an. So let's go ahead and play the game, but first, let's do something that a lot of the funny Let's Players don't do. And that's go to the Croft Manor. We're going to give that a try. Oh shit, it's not even available. Well, fuck that. I guess we're going to play the game and start a new one. The combat difficulty being easy because we're casuals. Tutorial text, why not? And then let's start the game. Now, I played Tomb Raider 2, but I didn't exactly get a chance to go into the real missions because it starts you off in the Croft Manor. I needed something that was warm, refreshing, and most importantly, accessible. And that's why I did it. But this is a lot different. This is an Unreal Engine 4.0 remake of the original Tomb Raider 2. This shit ain't no Arma 3, I'll tell you that much. This is almost like a mix of real-time and pre-rendered. My frame rate suggests that it is real-time. <laughs> it's time to go exploring. Alright, peace, motherfucker. Drop off the tampons later. It's time to pop some pussy. I was a little bit worried there as I was going into this... hole. I wasn't able to navigate as much as I thought I was. But I was wrong. You can navigate using the WASD keys, just like you would any other comic game. In the original Tomb Raider, I think you were only able to do it through, like, the... What do you call it? The arrow keys, and then on top of that, the number pad? <laughs> it was really tough. But this is, uh, quite a bit simpler. It actually reminds me a lot of Underworld. So we're kind of moseying around, checking our perimeter for any kind of infiltration. If anyone's gonna do the sneaking around, it's your boy and Lara. So Lara's gonna do this stuff amazingly for us because you know in demos like this, it's simply too beautiful and we gotta not get distracted. All right, up we go. <laughs> Now keep in mind it is a demo. You sometimes get a little bit of the frames uh, not lining up perfectly. It's a normal thing to do. And uh, I'm kind of glad I've got my ideas of where exactly to go. Now if I jump here, I better not get my ass kicked. Come on, Laura. There we go. I didn't want to go all the way down into that pool. I don't know what stuff's been in it, besides me, of course. I do like how it's lining up really nicely. More importantly, I'm very much looking forward to, uh... Shit. We gotta make sure we do this nice and actually read the tutorial. Come on. I guess we gotta do this, and she's like, Oh, it's time to jump! But no, it's not. You gotta go to the other side. Very important that you don't misconstrue. There we go, Lara. You ready for the jump? Don't fall into that fucking big pit right there. We'll die. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. And just like Underworld, you have that sound of something dropping in it. Man, I'm just constantly enthused and more importantly amazed by how Oh no! <laughs> don't don't drop down. We gotta get a little bit close, that's fine with me. Uh you know, most of the Underworld games have this really big problem with uh <laughs> With the camera placement, like, it would always focus on Lara's ass or her back or something. <laughs> this game, I don't know if it's the exception per se, but it's... <laughs> I guess it's because I'm having it. No, 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 Lara, Lara, Lara! God damn it. At least it's not like... You know, funeral services and everything. It does remind me very much, therefore, of Underworld. Because it... <laughs> You just fall, you get back up again. Okay, let's try this better this time. I'm glad I didn't have to start from all the way in the beginning. 
But still, we've got quite a bit to go. Don't die, Laura. Not this fucking time. Let's see what exactly we have to do. If we're making that jump. You better be fucking ready, Laura. No, 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 no. You ready? If you die, I'm gonna be mad. There we go. Now, easy there. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I'm glad I didn't fall or lose my place. We gotta do climbing more rocks. How cinematic. I do like the tessellation on these. Alright, as we get into the real world and there are many more objects to render, Laura's uh, looking very much nice as always. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 fuck, not again. Hey, I have a meta pack. Boom. In a second. <laughs> now, if I get mauled by a tiger, I'm going to be screwed. But other than that, I think we should be fine. Okay. Second time's the charm. Oh, no, Lara! You're not going the way I want you to go in life. Now, you can be an explorer, you can do whatever you want with your occupation, but I'm talking about your navigation. This is, uh, getting kind of ridiculous. Trying to be a funny let's player here, and you're ruining it. Okay, let's, uh, double up on this shit. As if we had no time to lose. Yeah, scary tiger sound. I'm so afraid. Yeah, try and climb to me, homie. I assure you, it will not end in your delight. Yeah, yeah. I know Lara's ha having quite a difficult time understanding the navigation of these rocks. However, if it were her v. me, I would not succeed. Okay, let's try it again. Don't die, Lara. Okay, good stuff. They give you a 100 emoji. Finally. Now it's up to these parts of town. It actually feels almost like uh, Assassin's Creed. Sweet. Now I hope I know how to navigate. We're not gonna punch things, right? Ooh, sneaking mode. But I have a feeling I'm gonna be shooting things up, like Trilla. All right, down the vault we go. I guess that works too. My anticipation should have brought me to that conclusion. I ought to have surmised that, I must say. Hey, at least there's no piranhas in this water, right? Ah, yes, and then right up here, something's supposed to fall. I do recall that. Down we go again. Alright, come on. Let's go thick, Laura. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. Puzzle making is awesome. What, I can go backwards too? Oh, that is sweet. That is so cool. Okay. Now we gotta get the second one and find out where exactly that is. Ooh, look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about. We don't want to lose our place. I think we gotta climb up there. Let's do it. Blast! Blast it all the heck. Second time's the charm. We gotta make sure we don't lose our place. Because if we do, we're kind of uh, in a rough spot, if you know what I'm saying. It's very dark in here. Where's your torches, Laura? I know you got bullets and ammo for days. We have flares somewhere. There we go. Oh, damn it, I dropped it. Oh, flare is the F key. I should have known. 
Yep, we got this one in place. We gotta find the second one now. There we go, Lara. That's what I'm talking about. Ha ha. Now we're gonna navigate over here? Yes. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. This works out perfectly. Though I'm kind of interested in how she's able to hold that flare in place. I don't find that immersive. <laughs> I'm just being a contrarian to piss people off. <laughs> Having a, a bit of a giggle here. Let's try it again. Alright, now where's this one supposed to lead to? There we are. Well, if I'm... No, I'm not... I'm not supposed to drop down. I'm supposed to drop backward. Get out of the way, Laura! No! Sweet. That's called being resourceful. Holy fuck. It's just like when I go outside in real life. Except not as beautiful. Yes, I find myself in this area with my literally rose-tinted glasses enjoying myself. A little bit too much. Finding that the Great Wall of Tiananmen is beautiful. Yes, almost as much as I. Let's explore a little bit more, shall we? Calmly, perhaps skeptically, as we find ourselves towards this new frontier, enjoying it thoroughly. <laughs> maybe not that much. So, so I go ten feet, maybe, and I'm I'm just done. It's what you call a walled fucking garden. I guess walls work if you ask Israel. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna jump down that. That's just too harrowing for me. There better not be any enemies. Come on. I'm checking my corners. <laughs> As I do the duck walk, I'm gonna see any kind of mysteries or... Ooh, a Chinese... Who cares he is dead now? Good shit right there. I'm guessing this is the part where a Lara Croft would voice act, because I'm not able to exit it through most normal options. <laughs> what a shame. My good friends. Oh man, they love skeletons. They're so nice and quiet. Okay, what about this note? Ooh, shotgun ammo. This ought to come in handy. I, I do really like the cinematic style of this. It's very appropriate for the time. Oh, you fucking crow. Don't even try, nigga. Haha. <laughs> I do remember, like, the first enemies. <laughs> okay, you want to be a little piece of shit? Go get shot. I'm surprised it takes five bullets to kill you, but <laughs> I guess it works. <laughs> I want to do the hand-to-hand -hand combat, like, hunker it down, but, you know, what if it has rabies? More importantly, what if it had rabies and I got bit? I guess I'm going to find out in about a month. <laughs> Off we go then, without any time to spare or to mosey about with this beautiful grass, which, speaking of which, is very impressive. That's very nice looking grass. They need this shit in oblivion, yo. Oh Christ, not again. You only. You didn't break a single bone in your body, Lara. You're tougher than this. <sighs> For a tech demo, I'm finding myself rather frustrated. But it's not the fault of the person who made this. This is actually very nice. Okay, Laura, carefully drop down now and don't die! Come on! 
You know, there are people on YouTube that make, like, collages of... Not that I would watch them, but I should... I preface that only to say there are collages of Laura just getting brutally murdered <laughs> by failing quest objectives. I'm not saying it's gonna be you, Lara. I'm just saying it's kind of annoying when you have to always fucking die. What's the next safest thing? How do I safely drop down from this bitch? Not you, but I'm talking about this area. Like, even if I approach it carefully, I'm finding myself decisively cautioned. And I can't jump over to the side and go up that way and go kind of down and sort of... How do we get on a ledge, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I do a cool dive... You know what, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Just because I have no idea what's going on anymore. Ha! What the fuck? I'm not even dropping down that much. Though I'm getting a better picture of what I'm supposed to accomplish. And that's to make a dive, I guess, a little bit up further. So that I can somehow, uh... Avoid most of the fall damage. Yeah, you see over there on that little ledge, the... It's a little bit higher than other parts. Maybe this is the end, and I'm not supposed to navigate any further. But I doubt it. Significantly. Yeah, because that edge isn't going anywhere. I'm not gonna consult any guides. If I go down here, I'm gonna die too. Fuck. Alright, going for a running start. Laura, you better not disappoint. Christ. This is leading to quite an unfortunate demise of us. More than 10 feet is instant death. More than 8 feet is significant injury. Oh, come on! That's not even that far. You gotta be fucking kidding me. One last time and then I'm just gonna... Alright, that one wasn't real. I had a running start. I, I retract immediately what I said. Just give me a few seconds. I'm gonna go and Google this. How people are accomplishing this. Okay, it looks like I found the solution. <sighs> Great stuff, guys. I found the solution. And it was simple as that. Like, not even joking. The only question is, where do I go from here? So if I make a jump, I'm still going to die. Oh. Ah, so I'm meant to drop down. I, I get it now. The game was toying with me, essentially. Oh, what? <laughs> Alright, I gotta view five more minutes of this video, it looks like. Mercilessly trying to get past this demo. I've seen people on YouTube just go point A to point B. You know why? Because they actually played the fucking game. Okay. Okay, Laura. Don't give me that bullshit. I know I'm supposed to navigate this way now. Ooh, maybe I go a little bit higher. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Awesome. And now it's working out better than it ever did before. Aha! <laughs> Evading navigational problems. There we go, and I shouldn't have died because of that. Let me... <laughs> am I gonna die? No. Good stuff. Finally this time it wasn't too much of a challenge to, uh, drop down that far without dying. Alright, time to go fuck up some more... What do you call it? Flying rats. Come on, show yourselves. Oh man, I'm not prepared to die again. No. Oh, after jumping forward to perform a swan dive. I guess the game is telling us it's time to stop. Alright, off we go! Man, that was such a beautiful swan dive. 10 out of 10, Laura. Should be a model. Should probably get myself one of those harpoons in case there's any piranhas in this water, like I mentioned. I'm guessing it's not on this level, though. We should be good. Let's go for more crystal dynamics. Haha. 
You wanna fuck? Huh? Oh man, let's go under the waterfall so everything can be uh, applied with pressure. Very pretty. I do like the navigational landscape and the elements of it being so beautiful. As if I'm being drawn away by being under this waterfall. Okay. Enough moseying about. It's time to continue our mission. Oh! Not today, motherfucker. I better have more bullets. You done? Y'all finished or y'all done? I felt right fully threatened. Well, I just dropped my flare, and I guess that also works as a, a reload button. Oh no, E is a reload button. Don't fuck, okay? Only I get to do that. There's not even a worthwhile drop besides this. God damn it, I dropped another one of my flares. At least I got three more out of it. <laughs> hmm, yeah, that's, a, that's an even trade. Okay, any other busters want to mess about? I ain't even kidding here. Oh, come on. This ought to be a place that I can explore, but I, I guess not. Come on, the FPS kill is killing me here. Okay, what else? There needs to be a super easy version of this for casuals such as myself. Ah, I see it now. Yes, if you look at the architectural clues, you get a better picture of what's going on. But I guess this is not it. <laughs> My idea that I was out of the water and perfectly fine seemed to have worked. Let's go. Yes, this is better than any kind of DSP gaming episode you motherfuckers might find yourself across. It's important that I got this done then. Right, let's get another one of those flares. All right, ain't nobody trying to mess now, okay? There's more beauty in this area, but tons of tigers. And I'm not talking about the crazy Asian mothers. Okay. Can't make a jump from there, we're gonna die. We have to go another way of sorts. a crevice. I'm not going down that one. And it looks like I dropped another one of my flares. Oh dear! Alright. Well, it's very important that we use our, we use this with discretion. We do not fall into any of these. I want to survive, as does Laura. Laura, I'm sorry. Sweet. Haha. <laughs> Here we go again, Laura. Into the pits. Ooh, how pretty. And let's see. We're not there for the sight or the view. Yes, if we drop down to a natural amount, I think this was uh, partly intentional. Yeah, we're not supposed to drop back down there, either. I think we're supposed to make a jump of sorts, but I very much doubt it'll work. Don't get sunken down, Laura. Here we go. <laughs> it's nothing short of a miracle. Alright, well, I think I need to use this somewhere else. No matter. 
We'll find out the next place this is utilized. Oh, come on. I have a feeling this is not going to take me where it thinks it's going to take me. Come on, Laurel, with a little bit more discretion! <laughs> Alright. Just a little frustrated. A bit. I mean, this magnificent, beautiful area is not enough to deter me or otherwise make me feel frustrated with the game. That's an even better way to go, isn't it? Ugh. Come on, Laura, do not disappoint. Yeah, see, unlike all you funny Let's Players that actually look at walkthroughs and shit, well, better yet, take a hint. You boys doing this completely blind. It makes the gameplay more immersive, I dare say. This ain't no easy game. This is very difficult. Reserved for the elite crew that is the gamers. Ah, yes. It feels like I'm getting a bit closer to my goal. Come on, Lauren, don't get yourself killed over something silly. Ah, uh, no, we gotta go the other way. Though this is nice, whatever is here. I'm guessing this is for people that are smart enough to navigate their way up here. It's not like one of those things that if you lose it, you'll... If you just, like, pass by it, you're not gonna get it, right? Okay. We're gonna put that to the test. Oh dear, another artifact. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, and a historical note. Johan Burbanks, explorer from 1984. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that little bit of history. Uh, okay, don't want to lose my step, my place in society. Somehow, by walking past here, I got into another checkpoint. Isn't that something? Okay. Aha! Ah! Oh, misplaced my assumptions were. Ugh. I ain't gonna stop until the mission's complete. No matter the frustrations. Motherfuckers looking at walkthroughs, no, not me. I'm too proud. We're gonna do this loud and clear. Come on! Well, at least it didn't fall on us. And I do know that pathway worked, too, which is also assuring. Yeah. Okay, Laura, time to do this. Motherfuckers need the perfect timing, not I. It was rather imperfect, and yet worked to perfect detail. Well, I guess we can say self-assuredly that's not where we're supposed to go. What else brings us here? Uh, mm hmm Oh, come on, you goofball. What a way to go. I don't know how many times Lars died so far. <laughs> as a result of misnavigation, but it's simply too many. At least we, uh, oh crap, we still gotta make it there. Well, off we go again, Laura. Come on, with our navigation skills, we shall survive.
Yes, there is various indications that I'm supposed to go this way. Let's see if I can bring my flare with. You see, I'm afraid of the dark. It's very scary. It's a good reason why I don't play horror games. Not again, Laura! Oh, come on! You gotta stop with this. I, I really thought I was going in the right direction, evidenced by the fact we were going places. This is like worse than... <laughs> worse than Duke Nukem Forever, where half of the game is just focused on the dam. The dam. It's a uh, Hoover Dam, specifically. That area of Las Vegas where uh, they get that things and get them taken care of. Oh, come on. You know you were going to end up like that anyway. I kind of wonder with these traveling, do Laura sign any kind of waiver or other medical release form to let her know of the dangers associated with such a trip? I don't think she's having a fun time right now. I don't think she's thinking right now. I think she's making these instincts, these moves, based off the presses I put on my keyboard. Yeah, seems like a detailed analysis and critique. Okay. Oh, hey, that worked. Don't talk shit, it worked. Okay. Yes, I know I need to have better skills at this game. I don't need to be reminded of it. These critiques are the thing that make me most frustrated. And yet, this is probably why I should stream on Twitch instead of just recording and uploading to YouTube. See, I'm a thoughtful gamer. I take these critiques into consideration. Finally, a checkpoint we can use. Yeah, if I see a ledge, you are going to get exploited, my friend. Second part. I guess we're gonna go here anyway. What's the next ledge? I think I see one here. Oh, come on! Lara, you deserve to be there. It's very foolish of you. But I'll give you another chance. Because that's what this game is all about. Falling, 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 and falling again. Yes, for those people who have those frickin' no continue speedruns, I salute you, but man. A little bit too serious, huh? Looks like I found a winnable part, and I'm gone again. Or am I? Ooh, not bad. Sometimes you need to fall to get back up. Although I did lose a little bit of health for some reason just for going in that area. I'll take the penalty. Okay. Now, where is the next part? It's journey. Uh, it looks like he doesn't, uh, lose any bones. No skin off his back, right? <sighs> this level one is very intimidating. I do know we're not supposed to be here forever. The second question I have is, how long? Huh. Awesome. Looks like I'm making my way back up. Sort of. More flare time. Okay. I don't think that's rock climbing material. This is, though. And it's giving me some shit. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you're like, I know this is a part where I'm supposed to climb and it doesn't let you. Okay. Okay. Up I go. Come on. It's nudge time again, motherfuckers. And I'm back in the game.
had enough of you guys. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you need to fail to see Laura in such contorted positions. All right. Time to go back to the heavens, where I belong. Although, sometimes it looks very... How do you say? Deceiving. In means and ways, we have to go back up to that specific area of the game. But alas, it's through here. Which means, fuck, it's like almost five minutes of shit we gotta go back up to. At least they have a better idea of where I'm going. And how not to die, I guess. <sighs> Looks like I failed that part. Christ. You know, the first half of this is easy baking because you don't have any options or really opportunities to die unless you force it to. But the reason why Lara is such <laughs> a good navigator is because all the previous iterations of her are dead. They died in miraculously bad and horrific positions. <laughs> like that. <laughs> totally avoidable. I feel like I'm getting a bigger picture and a better picture of Laura Croft, the one that we know and love today. The one portrayed by Angelina Jolie? Maybe not so much. That one isn't as much of a faithful re replication of the Laura Croft Tomb Raider we know from the video games. I will say it's probably one of the few uh, movie adaptions that I think people have said are not is not so bad but you know kind of can't get worse than things like postal although it did come afterwards you get what i'm saying there we go oh fuck not you not you you little piece of shit i'm gonna let you peck at me for only a, as long as it takes for me to kill you Come on, you're not no black pigeon, Speaks. Don't fucking try and pull that demonetization shit around my crib. Nigga! Okay, we're right alongside the Great Wall. And it's a fantastic wall, a beautiful wall. And people will come, but they'll have to come legally. Oh, man. The mechanics of a game like this. Aha! We have returned. That entire stretch that existed over here is no more. So much for a quote-unquote great wall. <laughs> it's nice that there are games that let you like backtrack, but I think in an instance like this it would be just too extreme. Uh-oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you gotta get out. you gotta get the fuck out of here, dick. I had a little research hint, but I lost it. I guess I got hit by the venom. Alright, how do I make myself well again? I'm pressing all the buttons. Yeah, I guess that works. Y'all spiders wanna mess with a real OG. Get ready to get hit up. They need to play some spooky music for those spiders, because they're really dicks. And I'm not talking about the one Lara likes. Who knows, she might be a lesbian. Okay. The journey continues, I suppose. Don't try to cobweb me, mister. Need to get myself an item. Well, that's not gonna open the door. Even I know that. <laughs> and that's not it, because that's locked. They need that part of the manor where... <laughs> 
It's so funny. She like goes there and she's trying to get into a special locked door and she's like, no. Like she would not let you go through the door. Ooh, Melissa Trent needs to barricade myself. Dart it at you straight from the outside. Barricade, barricade everything. Better they cannot pass. Well, you know what's rooting my immersion? They wouldn't be typing those three dots. It takes way more time than writing things. Alright, scary cutscene, right? I'm ready for it. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Oh shit! Down I go. How the hell did you guys... Come on. Ugh. Well, I guess I get what I deserve. The scary part of the game. This is why you don't fucking go and hit big looking sex, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. We're to do essentially the same thing, although maybe not as frighteningly as it once was. I really would have liked to see that tutorial again on how to crush these fucking things. But we're going blind. We're gonna try and focus on <laughs> not failing at every step, I guess. You know, maybe. Probably isn't gonna happen, but, you know, it's worth a try. Fucking big spiders. Alright, the next... The level in this mission. I'm gonna leave the big ass spiders nice and alone. Okay. Well, I guess I can't. I gotta do this forcefully and perhaps one could say violently. Don't have many. E oh, X to crush them. Come on, this is worse than infestation. This AA pathfinding is not working out very well. These guys are a bunch of assholes. Okay, that looks to be most of them. Fucking spiders. Just go. <laughs> That's something they need to change in the final version that they go all in a line or something. Well, I'm finding nothing particularly useful in this area. Make sure I'm wrong. Which does not seem to be the case. Down I go. Oh, come on, Lara. Are you even hurt for that reason? Shit. Looks like one of the doors was open, but that's the one I think we wanted. Not you guys again, what the fuck? I do find it helpful you're all going in a line. It does assist me in my endeavors. Nevertheless, it's sometimes annoying. Oh, come on. How many more of these damn spiders do I gotta kill? I think I'm done with all this. Yeah, looks about right. What is this, Big Bertha over here? Fucking already on the top of the ceiling, the area. The spooky music stopped. We should be done. I guess not. But this level or this stage we should say of quest completion things should be a lot easier from here on out the scary music is seized and the missing item we must find all right what's up oh there we go the guardhouse key 
only accessible once you kill all the fucking spiders. And that's something they need to change. They should let you just grab it right off the bat and worry about those fucking things later. Lacking my completion. Feeling very much ignored. Haha. -ha. Used to my benefit. In we go. Oh, look at this guy. This guy ain't no messing around. Alright, full clips, homie. Time for a second round of dying. You okay, Laura? Now that's what I call a far better way to go. You don't even see Lara's face at all. It looks like I was making a jump of sorts onto that side, but I wasn't exactly able to. Hmm. Let me see if I can make a careful jump. Yes, yeah, a most calculated area of which to try and avoid. Don't worry, Lara. You're fine. You're fine. What the fuck? Hey, Lara, I was actually pressing a button to let you not fall that way. That's some old bullshit. That was scripted right there, homie. So many turns and tides. Is there anything useful in here? Oh yeah. I can't even get out my weapons because this is a very clustered space. And I need another item to get out of here. I'm guessing this is the final area. So out we go again, into the open, the great wide open, to let us know that the mission, the demo is not complete until they say it is. Okay, so we went through like that and uh, Hmm. I guess I go back? Yeah, we're gonna try that. Uh-huh. Hmm, yes, now it kind of makes sense. Just enough, Lara. Just the tip, as they would say. Don't even try and pull that funny stuff with me, mister. No spiders allowed. I'm serious, man. I'll I'll lay you I'll lay you motherfuckers down if I don't do it myself. All right, does Qian Jin or his homie, without a body or base, have anything to say? Was this just a false lead? I think it is. All right, off we go then, to the other side. Wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, it looks like a drop I could possibly make. With caution now, Lara. I don't wanna die. Uh-huh. And now we're in the second cave. This one nastier and more vile than the first. Don't try and pull no silly stuff. Sweet. I got more flares and a small med kit. The next time we have one of those spider encounters, I should be good and not uh, instantly kill. Now if we go again. Huh. 
Now I guess the question is how do we get up from here? Or uh, where exactly are we going? Yeah, that doesn't look like a thing I can hold on to. What about this? Or this? Oh yeah, it kind of works. Now, if I made a drop here, it looks like I'd be done. Let's verify that. We did get like a drop or something. All right. Deeper into the dark depths of the ocean. These guys don't look exactly peaceful. Scary music doesn't seem self-assuring either. Let's go sneak around. I think if I dropped down from there, I would have died. We got the full damage of a fucking ant. Actually, no, ants would be... Ants would survive a drop like that, I think. I'm trying to think of a good comparison. But besides the point. A very beautiful relic. Beautiful. Now, I'm trying to avoid you, Laura. No, I'm not interested... No! The X camera just makes it worse. Here, you get side boob, I guess. That way you can see that nice big hole in the sky. That one, specifically. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, look at- man, we got this pushing motion and- Oh, man! It's crazy that she has the ability to lift this fucking huge-ass rock. Not even I would be able to do that. And it's fixed in such a way to- allow you to move it with relative ease. I'm just seeing if I can drop it down anywhere. It looks like these barricades are set there purposefully as to not allow that to happen. Would be nice though, and you do gotta admit that. Alright, we gotta go look for that hidden item. It looks like this isn't gonna lead us anywhere good. All right, motherfuckers, where's that random, magical key? Ooh, I'm glad I didn't fall into that. Checkpoint time. I guess something ominous is coming. Haha. -ha. This is the thing that's probably going to kill us, isn't it? Uh, and we gotta make sure we pick the right one. That does help. Oh, <laughs> you see what I mean? Fucking just one, one little dump. We're dead. Okay, down we go, Lara. Come on, don't take fall damage from a drop like that. Ah, now why did they open this area if there's nothing in here? Motherfuckers. Uh, it's almost as if we were rused. Tricked. Led to a false conclusion. Hey, I mean y'all a bunch of peace, but I mean, this is some old bullshit. We need to clear this out. Very unhygienic and a fired hazard. I think I get what Van Jones was saying when he said this whole thing was a, a fucking nothing burger. This was a nothing burger. We stood nothing to gain from this and we, uh, were very much distracted by small things that changed everything. And at the same time, nothing. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, I'm just kind of through with this game. Not that there's any- not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just... frustrating. I guess we have to 
You know, learn to lose before we win. Or take fall damage again. Oh, come on. We're gonna find a special thing here that's gonna, like, prove us wrong and stuff. I guess not. No, oh, come on. I, I, dude, I want my flare back. I need a flare refund. I already went out. Isn't that something? Looks like these things are situated specific enough to us that we cannot make the same mistakes. Yes, we must go forward in any way we can. I'm not gonna go back. Can't go back. Never going back. The game is very insistent on that fact. You can't even go there if you tried. Well, I was here. Let's see the other side. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, come on. You ain't you fucking taking fall damage for the most insignificant bumps and bruises that are possibly imaginable. Very, very disappointed in you, Lara. Well, off we go again. Ugh, you motherfucker. Bitch, you'd fucking ragdoll if it were ten more feet. Ugh. Okay. Uh There we go. There is a purpose underneath these things that we have not yet seen. Let us proceed. We were already there kind of. What about this thing up here? Aha. Uh -huh. The sound has changed dramatically. There's something building more of anticipation. Ah, of course! That is something we must have done. And it's closed from the other side, which is disappointing. But it's just what we need. Because as we drop that, we make it a possibility to navigate through it. You get what I'm saying, right? Fucking flares are pieces of junk. Uh huh. Mahahaha. Why, yes, of course. It was a trick, a ruse. The door is underneath us. I wonder if they're locked now. I guess we're gonna find out. Because Lara can't fucking jump. Off we go, Lara. Yes, this doesn't look like particular rock climbing material. Neither does this. Off we go. <laughs> so brutal. So brutal. Okay. Come on, no more bad vibes or incredible drop distances. Let's bring that to a humane and possible drop point. That's my free flare. The economical one. Ah! Oh, so I see. So the, the fucking thing I moved out of the way is now moved up here. It's like a game hint. Very, very useful. Huh! <laughs> Not good enough!
Yeah, wave bye-bye, Laura. I'm, I've just about fucking had it with this fucking game. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> now that's some fucking bullshit. You even know that, Laura. Don't even turn your head or your body and face me, because I would just show you the ultimate face of disappoint. Fucking Lara Croft Tomb Raider. I am going... I am... After this, I'm going to watch a bunch of fucking Rule 34 on this. Just to, you know, blow some steam, if you know what I'm saying. Very disappointed. So I think those poles up there are supposed to help us. If I jump into these and I instantly fall to my death, I'm gonna be even more frustrated than I originally was. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. I'm not supposed to jump, Lara. I'm not supposed to jump. I'm supposed to go over here, I think. But I guess it works out for the best. Because... What exactly is this, anyway? I think if I... Let's see. No, I don't have the ability to do that. To make a jump, I mean. Let's see this. Nope. That helps. There we go. Aha! Shoulder climbs. And we're once again closer to our goal. Like magic. Truly the dark souls of exploring. For every time you die, you learn a little bit more in its fairness. I guess I can't climb there, Lara. Let's try this. That's too low for me. If I do that, I would assuredly pass away. We're gonna go for it and know we die. <coughs> Time for another one. It's just like after a while, you, you proceed to go with emotions, knowing that many a time this will lead to your own ruin. But you know you have to proceed. You just gotta. Come on, Laura. We can't give up yet. Oh crap, I'm supposed to boost that thing. Let me go ahead and do that. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I have seen it. Indeed. 
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have drawn my weapon there. I guess if you draw a gun while you're climbing, you're you're kind of done for. Fucking Lara. Did, did we at least rise it up a little bit? Yeah, let, let me... There we go. Gotta do what's necessary to proceed in this demo slash mission one. You think this is fun, just think of all the other uh, levels they have coming up. Once they finish this community mod. Which, by the way, is actually very good for what it is worth. The only games I've really played, like seriously, was uh, Underworld. I, I, I bought my my father bought me a, a three pack of the Tomb Raider games when they first came out, like they were in a trilogy, I guess. And like the thing was only like three bucks, but apparently, I don't know. Like one, two, and three kind of had a very different feel to it because they were made for a different age. They weren't used to WSAD. They were more used to like the arrow keys and everything. Like, I think, like, one had, like, a one-minute water limit, the, the second one had a two-minute water limit, like, where you can go into the water and breathe for, for some reason, and then after that, you're done. I don't know, they were developed in such a strange way that I don't, I think few people could realize how unique the development was. And you see this tree branch right over here? I should be able to climb this. Like, I really should. Okay. But no time for complaining. We gotta go find effective solutions. I think I have to drop down yet again. Score one for the environmental cues. It does help that the game doesn't allow me to uh, screw up necessarily in the sense of navigation. Like, if I'm climbing stuff, it knows if I'm wrong, you know? It's not gonna let me screw up. Like, I know right off the bat, it's, hmm, probably a different way than where I once started. I know I can't really approach that tree, so that's not the concern. There's this cool thing right here that I think might help. Doesn't look like it is, though. Hmm. Investigate. Oh, but... No, it wouldn't make sense for me to drop down in here. Or would it? Haha. -ha. I guess it did. Sometimes the things that are supposed to make sense don't, and the things that don't make sense do. Now that's some frustrating shit. Now I'm gonna have to go back all the way where I fucking started and do that over again. Son of a bitch. Even taking fall damage. Huh. No more puzzles for the fun times. At least we have a little bit of a helpful guide to get us back up. Yes, because see, if I went the other way, I wouldn't exactly be helped, necessarily. I'd have to go over the other side and make it from there. Yes. Oh man, this is making it so much easier. I'm not exactly sure if I should be sarcastic or not at this point. I'm just trying to go with the, the flow. There's this hidden area, right? <laughs> and I drew my weapons. Lara, no! Oh, come on, Lara. Don't give me this fucking shit. Lara, 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 Lara. Huh. 
Come on. Come on. Useless. This is shit that does not have a use for. This precisely here, the ultimate final mission that has kind of puzzled elements, if you will, has made this difficult, like, probably because they don't want to make it easy for motherfuckers. Nope, that ain't supposed to be there. This is so people get their demos worth. Very generous demo, I will say. Despite all of my negative comments. Very, very generous with the time. This shit ain't no mission one, I'll tell you that. This is quite the tomb to explore. Alright. Maybe we can get Laura to pick up the pace. Let's see. Circumnavigating my location. Laura, you better fucking pick this up. There we go. Because I know if we make that jump, we're not gonna make that jump. You feel me? We're gonna have to try again. In all the places that count, such as this small area over here. Ah! Oh, what the fuck, Laura? No, you were supposed to pick that shit up. You were fucking supposed to. Now that's some old bullshit. Mod developer, you're a fucking mod. <laughs> No. <laughs> this is just frustrating, man. I'm very, very disappointed. Yeah, yeah, cry that you're not able to get there in the maximum amount of time. Or minimum, I should say. Shout out to the speedrunners, the ADGQ motherfuckers. I think if I boosted myself up, I'd probably be going a little bit faster, though. I want to test that hypothesis, but we've got more pressing matters to deal with. Finishing this demo successfully, without frustration. Bringing me back to the days of the Elder Scrolls missions. <laughs> and specifically, I'm talking about the one where you have to find the Elder Scroll in Skyrim. Oh my god. Like an hour and a half I spent on working on that thing, and even then, it wasn't exactly a good experience. I had somebody walk in, if you check the footage, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to say something in regards to, um, in regards to, like, how the mission's going, like, oh man, your life is going really great, man, good stuff, and, which is, you know, not at all related to the mission. It's just trying to be a supportive person, and, uh, interestingly enough, that, uh, kind of brought me off track. I don't think that was the reason why the entire episode was like an hour and a half long. It was just really, really daunting and quite, uh, quite a mission to behold. See, it's like right here you have a feeling you're gonna fuck up either way. Like, even if I jumped at this thing, like, Lara's gonna fucking knock me back and to some ridiculous degree. I'm gonna be disappointed in myself. Here we go. I guess it worked. We're home free, Laura. Essentially. What is this area over here? Is this a locked item? No, it's a large med kit. It's still useful though. I won't I won't say anything different. Better have some things that are more coming in handy than just this alone. I'm guessing the large med kit is a sign of solidarity and support, knowing that there are many, many falls I'm gonna suffer in this playthrough. I'm not exactly concerned as much as about that as I am about the exploration itself. Like, shit man, I'm trying to find my way out of this motherfucker and it's like, taking me, I'd say a time and a half to get everything right. 
All right, Lara, here we go. Sweet. Kinda made it past that way. That really came in handy. I, I, I have no fucking clue how that works. But I guess it does. Laura the demon. Like I'm not even I'm not trying to drop down there. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Now I don't know if the game is trying to prevent me from screwing things up. Let's see. Okay. So it continues, in a sense. From here, there is more navigation to be found. Nah, -huh. because it really just brought me there. Uh, Laura, come on. I need to have a bit of a break. I need to check that YouTube video and see what exactly I'm doing wrong. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm being a little bit mocked here. For my patience. My first similitude. Yes, Laura. I am trying. <laughs> Just like the body language there indicates, you know, a mockery of sorts. Like I'm not doing my best. Motherfuckers ain't believing me here. Look, Lara, I, I really am trying my best. I don't need no, uh, what do you call it? Girls laughing not JPEG images. This is uh this is me earnestly trying to do it without the form of a guide or a YouTube or anything like that. The first time I needed it really bad, but this time This time I'm trying to be a little bit mature with it, you know? Like oh my god. How are we gonna do this? Like Laura, you know you can't go that way. You gotta go this way. And then we go this way, and I know because of right where we are right now, we go down this side, and we go up, we go around, we pick up that large medikit. We still have a little bit more exploration left to do, so perhaps we go on the other side, that way. Yeah, starting to make a little bit more sense. Come on, let's do it. Anything left? Oh, shit. Two flares on top of that. That's what I'm talking about. And the very handy uh, navigation over here. To let you know that shit's locked. There isn't anything particularly useful in this area anyway. Okay. Where exactly can we go next? You know? That is my fascination. Because from the looks of it, it's like once you're here, you're done. You know? You ain't got much left to go to. That was like almost made to fail. But what if we did it on the inside? No. It doesn't work like that. Not in Laura's world, at least.
All right, hold on a second. The second time I die with such a daunting look on my face. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Come on, YouTube. Find me the solution. <sighs> you know what's you know what's funny? I'm looking at this right now and it's just people kind of gave up after a certain point of this. People people just had enough and they weren't able exactly how to proceed. So I, I'm not feeling necessarily as alone on this one. Still, with that said, I mean, that's kind of uh, frustrating. Okay, so I'm right here at the same position this YouTuber is at. I'm seeing him make the turns. I should probably set the brightness up on this thing. Let's see. Nope, wrong feature. Oh, he's right at the point where shit gets bigger and stuff, like the, the little peace sign. He's actually right on the good point. I'm, I'm like following... Following the screen and also following my phone just to see exactly what this funny memer is doing. I gotta say, I'm rather enthused. Chuff the bits, one could say. Aha. Uh -huh. These motherfuckers single handedly outsmart me. Or kind of. They're getting on a point so high up in the game I wasn't even aware of it. I'm not even going for the drops anymore. Fuck that. I want to go and beat this game. And then, maybe, you know, come to a sense of conclusion, semblance, and other things. Yes, in a game like this, that's all one could ask for. Alright, so eyes in the sky. We gotta make sure we got something nice. Uh-huh. He had something nice and it was lost on me. I think. Oh, come on, you didn't even die. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let you... Bitch, one fucking fall and you're done. Come on, let's go magically hop over there. It'll be faster than climbing my way up. Certainly. Uh. It's so funny, though. I can't get over that little facet of uh, all the other Let's Players. Like, quite a few of them just stopped right here. They're like, I'm fucking done. I don't want to play this game anymore. That's it for this video. Check it out next time. But nah, not me, motherfucker. I go to the final end. Because you know why? That video about the Elder Scrolls, as terrible as it might have been, still got 150,000 views. So that's why I'm doing it for. The views. And also the win. That's, uh, that's a close second. You know, you don't want to be called a loser. Ha <laughs> ha. Finally, motherfucker. Finally! Finally! That's alright. I didn't even care about that anyway. I'm gonna just navigate through here and call it a day. <laughs> Man, karma's a bitch and then you die. <laughs> that's... That's funny. You know, as... I'm not even, I'm doing like, you know, uh, what do you call it, cut edits? Like, I'm not doing like jump cuts and like trying to fake it and say how easy this shit was. That one, that one's going into the final cut. That one isn't even going to be cut. As embarrassing as that was, because you know, it'll make people smarter. They'll, they'll be like, hey, I'm not going to go and talk shit about how easy the game is, because that might happen to me. Okay. Now all I got to do is remember kind of how I did that. 
think I see it now. Yeah. <sighs> that was funny. That was that was very very humorous. One could say it's almost funny and random. Off we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So spooky. I can't believe what just happened. All right. In we go, and let's not try and fall this time. Let's go even higher. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. What is this, a second parallel universe of sorts? People better not be trying to pull no pranks on me. Oh, this is like a... Ah, I see now. It's a parallel of sorts. I'm supposed to climb up and then climb down. Sort of. You know what I mean. Things are starting to make a bit more sense now. This is not easy mode, I'll have you know that. That shit will happen to you if you think this is easy. Casuals. You'll be falling, falling, and falling again. Come to a world like Xi'an and get your fucking sheet on. That was so bad it was almost worth falling into that pit one more time. We're not gonna humor that, uh, concept. We're gonna try and do some more navigation memory. And see if we can get across. Okay. Because I guess it kind of destroyed that ledge. Which sort of works, I guess. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm supposed to... Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to mosey on about right over there. Yeah, I think it must have hit something specific enough to open those gates. Because those gates exist for a reason. Like, they don't not exist for a reason. Like, even though they didn't have anything in there originally, there's got to be something more valuable in there. So just on a whim, I'm going to lower the gates once more and we'll see exactly what happens. Yes. Very accustomed to the checkpoints. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! God! Come on! It's only a little. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? It ain't that bad. What the fuck? I was supposed to put my body on that and kind of like guard it, so if it fell down. I would be the Tomb Dead Raider. See people bringing it up. The gates are opening again. Maybe I'm a little bit too early in this, though. It's possible. I, mean, I wouldn't rule it out, but shit. This shit is like the final tomb. They want you to have a sense of difficulty, to know that you're progressing in this game to such an extent. Motherfuckers wouldn't realize it until now. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and give it a sample. Yes, a sample. That's what I said. Oh, shut up, Lara. You were fine. You were totally okay. In good health and mental condition. I didn't mean that specific part, but other parts. I'm seeing what the funny players are doing. This guy is just hanging out. 
he's hanging out on this rope and he's like, man, I'm gonna get over there and I'm gonna do this thing and it's gonna work all perfectly fine. And then he changed his mind, sort of. At the end of the day, though, he did complete the mission. I, I won't talk shit. I'm trying to be a little bit like him. It looks like he's moving that cube again. Aha! Uh -huh. It's the cube! That's it! The cube! This realization was brought to you by a fellow Let's Play- I'm gonna find out who this mo- Ray- Raiden's Gaming World. Shout out to my nigga Raiden. His name will be on the top right corner. You better give him a motherfucking LIKE! Or I won't like you. Cause that's helpful shit right there. If you don't give him a like, you'll end up just like Laura. Okay, so it's time to lower down. The Cube of Magicalness. Alright, Lara, don't die this time. Please, Lara, no die. No dying. No dying allowed. Come on, I can't wait to get this shit over with. Let's circumnavigate the cube off to the point of no return. Mwahahaha. <laughs> I thought that would hurt. At least I did the swan dive successfully. Because the first time I tried in doing it, it didn't work out so well. Alright, now carefully lowering myself into this sacred area. <laughs> She's like waving goodbye. Okay, third time's the charm. Although right now it's probably attempt number 73. Let's make these very safe drops into the game. There's a reason why Lara's a researcher. She's smart. She's lending her talents and athletic prowess and academic knowledge to you. It's up to you to use it responsibly. But hey, it's just a fucking game theory. People right now are at the 125 mark on their video, and their their videos are like 130. So I think I'm I'm okay, I think, <laughs> including all the cuts and stuff. But oh god. <laughs> now that one was my fault. I kind of. Got out the weapons and I got a little excited. Uh, didn't work out so well. Let's try it again, Lara, this time without dying.
Now that's some old bullshit. I think I was supposed to survive that. Drop it just saying, ah, oh dear, I'm falling down this pit, and it's so scary and dark. Oh no. I mean, come on, motherfucker. I, I really wanted to live, and then this shit happens. Come on, speed run time with a little bit more accuracy. Now, yes, if the goal was to not die, I'm not exactly sure where I would be. This hollowed out area did look rather trusting, but I was mistaken to place my trust in that dark area, for I did not know if that were shadow or crevice. These motherfuckers are just getting to me. Little snips and bits pissing me off to shit. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. And that's exactly what we're doing. We don't have a permit. Don't be ridiculous. In a place like this, the Chinese government's saying, Hey, go and excavate yourself. You'll have a fun time, you'll be Christian, and not this won't happen to you at all. Ha 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 This is looking very, very grotesque. I, I don't think Crystal Dynamics would think for a second that this would be an acceptable solution. Or would they? Would it be a dynamic? Probably not as dynamic as that demise. Lara Croft Tomb Raider ain't taking shit from nobody. Including myself. I need to get myself some fucking, what do you call it? Trying to be funny here. One second, give me, give me the time. A trainer, yes. I need a trainer for this, although I think that bets are kind of hard-coded. They're intended for that if you find yourself in a situation like this, you're not just going to be able to simply cheat your way out. Although I don't know, it is Unreal Engine. Previous Lara Croft Tomb Raider games are on Unreal Engine. Like Underworld was, I think. Okay. Now if I drop down, I'm going to die. How the fuck do I do this shit? Oh, come on! I could have easily grabbed that fucking part. You, Laura Croft, you, you are just not- you're not acting very capable right now. You're acting below your skill level. Oh, come on, you motherfucker. That ain't even taking damage. That's taking damage. Not a single scuff mark whatsoever. Uh-oh, Laura. You're not able to go that way, you know why? Because you're not playing very fair. Yeah, 
not a good end if I try to jump off that. There is an additional element I require practice for. A jump like that, I'm probably going to die. That's why we need this area in here. Yes, it's here for a reason, is it not? Ah, to complete the non-fucking <laughs> clip collision over there. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, it's better than going like that, right? I would have done a swan dive any day. Let's enjoin ourselves and enjoy. That's what you call harrowing. Hey, did you see that shit? No, 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 no. You ain't. Wait, no, don't even. What the fuck? That's some old bullshit. I like that motherfucker. I am so frustrated, Nico Bass. You can suck my motherfucking dick. That's some old cheap shit. Motherfuck you. Laura, voice actor. At least I like the screams when she dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit too brutal, but I mean, shit. All right, hey, hey. It's truly like the old days because I can't skip the fucking cutscene. So I, I guess I beat it then. Ha <laughs> ha! High five, motherfuckers. All right, that's pretty much about it. It looks like you know we had a lot of fun times. I was smiling. We were all you know goofing around and stuff, right? Just like Laura would. But instead, we had a quite frustrating encounter, in and out. So with that said, I uh, I'm gonna call it quits. Take care and enjoy. No, that's it, I swear. Squeeze, squeeze. Peace.